Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for April 2019. This is the Spiritual Centre and I'm Sonia Parker. Now in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the energies that are around you for the month ahead. What experiences you might expect to have and also about the challenges that you might face. I hope that the reading will resonate with some, with you, some of you. It is a general reading. Um, if it doesn't, then please take a look at my channel. Take a look at my pick a card readings if you're looking for a specific answer. Hopefully there'll be something there for you. And if you enjoy this video, then please like, please comment, and please let me know if it did resonate with you. Um, before we start the reading, I also want to say that I do have my Tarot Secrets and Tips course, which is out there now. It is free for a limited period only, and there's a link in the description for that as well. So if you want to learn the tarot, please pop along and see what my tips are. Okay, so let's get on with your Sagittarius tarot reading for April 2019. And the first card that I've pulled is from the Angels of Atlantis Oracle deck. And the card is Archangel Gabriel. Grace is the word. This is time for you to fly, fly to clearer waters, unfold your wings like a swan. It's almost as though it's a, a maturing, a, a, a developing, a transformation. And I do sense that there could still be, for some of you, situations or relationships that are not good for you. It's time to take um, a break from the situation. Take yourself off somewhere, even if it's for an hour. It's about realising your own beauty. Look how magnificent the swan is. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself, I love you. Do this frequently and often. I love you. And actually mean it, believe it. And receive that gift of grace. Knowing that you are the best that you can be. Also with Gabriel, he brings healing. He is temperance in the tarot, the bringer of balance. And this is about balancing your energy body, your chakras. Because if there's any blockages or if they're out of alignment, then it's the physical that shows, it's the emotions and the illness that show. Take a bit of time to realign and balance your chakras as well. Sit under a tree, even for an hour. Just sit quietly, absorb earth energy. Absorb the cosmic energy from Archangel Gabriel. Bring in the balance of mind, body and spirit. And I think this reading is particularly about self-love um, and how you feel about yourself. Okay, so this is, the, this is the general energy for the month ahead. This is the energy that's around you personally. And this card is from the goddess, goddesses and sirens. And we have Aphrodite, self-love. So Aphrodite encourages that self-love from within. You were born perfectly lovable. You were born with total innocence. Do not rely on another source outside of yourself for your self-worth. 
regain your personal power. Empower yourself here and now. Remember those three important words and say it often. I love you and mean it. Okay, really important messages there. I'll leave these cards on the table. Okay, so let's see what other guidance we can get for you, Sagittarius, in your tarot reading for April 2019. What guidance can the tarot give? Okay, I'll try and put all the decks out so that you can see them. I will hold them up to the camera anyway. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. Soulmates, the perfect union, a choice between two people. Only you will know the meaning for you personally. It's very much a love reading for you for April. This is two people that have are, are entwined with Spirit's blessing. And I know that there's... Uh, could well be difficult situations around a relationship. And when I say take your time out, it's literally for a breather. It's not saying goodbye to the relationship. It's still working on the relationship. It's just taking yourself away from the situation. Okay, we will leave that card there as well. So let's see what's going on around you, Sagittarius. And we have reversed the Nine of Swords. I don't do reverse meanings in the tarot, only that there is a blockage or an obstacle. So this is sleepless nights, this is worry, worrying too much. And the only person that's affected by all that worrying is you. You're the person that's sitting there in the middle of the night holding your head. Now if we look at the swords, they're all on the wall, but they've got no points on them. So there's nothing there that can harm them. Only the thoughts that they're having. This is about clearing your mind. And I did feel that with the other cards, it's about balance of the chakras. It's about the balance of the energy body as well as the physical. And I think that's really important for you right now to get away from the worrying cycle. Because I do sense something is bringing you down. Okay, so how do you get past it? What's stopping you? <gasps> wow. This card overrides every other card in a tarot reading. It is the Ace of Pentacles. It is a gift from the spirit world. It is a destiny card. And it does bring health, wealth and happiness to any situation. And I think by the worrying that you're doing or the thoughts that you're having are actually blocking your, the abundance that can come in for you. Remember to unveil your wings, to remember to be like the swan. Transformation, walking in your own beauty believing in you and all that you are. It is time to say I love you to yourself. Okay, so let's see what's led up to this. And we have the Three of Swords reversed. So without a shadow of a doubt, there has been heartache and hurt. And that's around relationships because we've got the two there. 
but it's almost as though the ace is giving you that and also not just the ace but the archangel gabriel they're giving you that lift that boost a helping hand to deal with it to help you deal with it okay so let's see what's in your subconscious and we have reversed the Four of Wands. And I think all these cards are reversed simply because of your own energy body, your own energy system at the moment. There's blockages there that need clearing out. That hour you take out of your time to devote to you will do you a massive favour. Because you should be celebrating who you are. You should be celebrating all that you have achieved. Okay, so what does the spirit world, your higher self, have to say to you? And we have reversed the three of pentacles. This card has several meanings. It's probably one of my most difficult ones to uh, comprehend, especially within a relationship, because two's company, three's a crowd. But it's almost as though you need other people to be able to deal with what you need to deal with. As this is your higher self, this is a cup for me, particularly in this reading. This is a spirit saying to you, we're with you. We'll see you through this. We'll guide you every step of the way. If you have something to sign, look at the small print. This is about coming together. This is about joining together to create your future. So whether that you be with the spirit world and taking their advice, whether that be with people that are around you, work colleagues, whatever, it's you becoming part of the collective to bring you to where you need to be. Okay, the next card is the here and now, and we have reversed again. The judgment card. So it's the end of the road for um, situations around a relationship. It's it's almost as though that's it now. Draw the line, put the lids on the coffins, leave the past where it belongs. No one can change what happened yesterday. Draw the line and think differently about your way forward from this day onwards. The other flip side of the judgment card is that there could be someone around you who's blowing their own trumpet, who won't let go of the past. Perhaps this is the other person in that relationship who is forever harping on at you. The judgment card teaches us to own up to all that we've experienced and all that we've done in our lifetime and to move on from it, to learn lessons, to take things under our wings, and then to fly and be the best that we can be. Learning from all the experiences that we've had. Okay, these are very much the cards that are around you as a person. Um, we've also got Aphrodite, uh, self-love, these cards don't promote self-love, so I feel that's a really big issue for a lot of you right now. Promote the self-love to give you the balance, to give you healing, to realign your energy body, to expand your aura, and to say every single day, I love you. Okay, the next four cards are your way forward as we go through April. This is why I love the tarot so much. You couldn't write it. We have Archangel Gabriel, the healing angel, number 14 temperance, the bringer of balance. If we look in, this, in the deck of cards, he has red wings. Red is a 
really important number for survival, for instinct. It's the colour of our blood. It's the colour that actually keeps us alive. It's the colour of passion. It's the colour of love. But it's also the colour of stop and hate. So it's bringing the balance on that love-hate vibration. It's bringing that balance in for you right now. I feel inclined to say, go and search things out about Archangel Gabriel. Things that will resonate with you right now. But there's definitely healing coming from the spirit world for you. Okay, so how do others see you? And we have the Ten of Wands reversed. So burdened is the best word I can use for the Ten of Wands. Much too much going on. You've taken on too much. You do too much. You do too much for others. It doesn't give you any time to yourself. And it only causes you to worry. So it's almost as though this Ace of Pentacles is coming in with a brand new day. Coming in with a brand new opportunity. Look out for the opportunity that it's bringing and look for the 17th of April because I feel that the 17th of April is going to hold a key for you. Okay, the last two cards I always feel are the most important in the reading. It's your fears card and also your final outcome, both of which you can change depending on the choices that you make. Okay, in your fears position we have reversed the magician number one. Again, we've read... I feel that the base chakra is a chakra that could well be out of alignment with you, which is our, our survival instincts, our need to be grounded. Um, number one, you should be putting yourself first. You are number one. Nobody else on this planet will put you, or should put you, be above themselves, because we should all put ourselves first. So that's a really important message. Put yourself first first know that you have all the tools on the table to do anything that you want to do or be anything you want to be this experience of life is totally down to your choices it's never too late to make a new choice okay before i turn the last card like i just said we have free will and you can change the outcome depending on the choices that you make. So your outcome, and you shouldn't want to change it even though it's reversed, is the high priestess, the keeper of knowledge. Trust in your gut instinct. Maybe keeping some things to yourself as well. I know there is the collaboration with the three here from Spirit, but I also feel that some things need to be kept to yourself. And you'd be better off not, not sharing some things. This is all about following your intuition. Following your higher self. Listen to the voice of spirit. Listen to how you're being guided. But most importantly, think of the really, really powerful good cards that you've got in this reading. You've got temperance bringing you that healing energy. You've got the Two of Cups, the Soulmate Connection. You've got the Magician being number one. You've got Judgment letting go of the past. You've got the High Priest this, trusting your gut instinct. The Keeper of Universal Knowledge. And most of all, you've got the Ace of Pentacles bringing you health, wealth and happiness. Okay, Sagittarius, I hope that you have a beautiful April. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading for April 2019. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Please like, please comment and let me know how it resonated with you. I always know that this reading is meant for at least one person in its entirety. Every single thing that I've said today will relate to at least one person. And that person is meant to hear it. Okay, please take a look at the other videos that I have on my channel, my pick a card readings, 
and also my spiritual development. I have got a tarot secrets and tips course that is available free for a limited period only. So the links are in the description. Bless you all for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful April. And don't forget those important words. Look in the mirror. Not once, not twice, but three times a day. And tell yourself, I love you. Bless you.